this is a story from ancient times. The human body, you see, had barely begun to function when its various members all of a sudden formed a league amongst them to do away with a belly. The most importunate of all, the most intolerant as well, if you can imagine it, was the thumb. What happened then? The belly, so the others said, was only a good-for-nothing glutton who gobbled up everything without ever working in the least, while instead all the other members did. The ears heard, the feet had to walk, the eyes had to see, and don't forget the nose. So everyone, according to his capacity, made his contribution to the common welfare except the belly. That's only natural. Ah, yes, it's only natural that you would be in league with them. After all, it's you, and all too many like you, who think it natural to conspire against the Senate. Don't get off the subject. What was the useless belly's defense? I agree with you, said the belly. Indeed, I do take all the food which you procure with your talents. But what would become of you? If I were not here to supply your needs, eh? It is from me that blood is furnished to the heart and to the brain, to the muscles and the nerves. And it is due to me that you are able to work at all, whenever you like. If it weren't for me, you would wither away and perish, my friends. If you're interested, these are still the belly's words, mind you. I might also point out the fact that for what you feed into me, I give to you the purest of flour in return, while I must be content with the husks. Well, what do you think of